Okay, I hear a noise going on over here. Now we turn our head for one minute and this guy's trying to mess with our equipment. Get off of there! Yeah. Hey guys, Chad and mine operator. We're gonna run that sample we were telling you about. 765 pounds. And this will be our first test run through the crusher and the 19 foot conveyor up to our knife gate bin. And then we're just gonna shut down after that. All right, we got some samples here on the trailer. Up over the hopper, up over the feeder, we have the 765 pound sample ready to go. We ran the exhaust on the outside of the building. And this is an inline six. Chevy motor, powering our crusher. All right, let's see this thing run. All right, we're getting ready to run our sample. This is, this is how we got to dress. Underneath our crusher, we have a little area where some material is, is spilling out, and we have a gear oil uh, drop in there, so it's better than on the conveyor belt. A little bit of loss here, and this is what our little hopper underneath looks like. And see if I can get it up in here, give you an idea. Our setup. Not bad. Let's go take a look at the knife gate bin. As long as the hopper is right over the center. Yeah, yeah, this was out here. Yeah. A little more. Yeah, come check this out. One of our issues. Oh, really? Alright, so you can see how the material stacks up underneath the conveyor. We'll have to pull and rake. Make sure it doesn't uh, spill over the edge. And this will hold a little over two tons, two and a half tons. So if we were to actually fill this up and then turn on the other half of the plant, going through the mill, we could then continue to crush and continue to feed this and we wouldn't have the spillover. All right, that was the first half of our test. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna go ahead and run the, the mill, run the table. Take a look at our cons, our concentration ratio. We're gonna dry it, we're gonna weigh it. We'll smelt the primary concentrates and go from there. Thanks for watching.